Hey, I'm Caitlin. I'm Jessica. And we have a massive book haul for you guys today. We went to three different places. The first place we're going to start out with is the Recycled Reader. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got the Janet Ivanovich series. Okay. I got two for the dough, three for the, three to get deadly, and four to score. Okay. Then this one I picked up. I didn't really read what it was completely about, but it was only a dollar, so I thought All might as well. All these books were just a dollar. <laughs> thought I might as well. It's called A Girl's Guide to Dating Vampire. No. A Girl's Guide to Vampires by Katie McAllister. Okay. And I've been wanting this one forever. Um, this is The Vampire Diaries, the first one, The Awakening by L.J. Smith. This is the, like, first copy, which yeah, I'm excited about. Yeah, it's like the about. mass production paperback. I really like this one. And then I I really liked the first Charlene Harris, <laughs> and I went a little crazy and thought I was picking up the rest of the series. But this is actually a different series. So I got An Ice Cold Grave, Grave Surprise, Grave Sight, and then this one is another, her third series, and it's called Poppy Done to Death. Okay. I also got The Kite Runner. Which we heard was really, really good. Yes. And I have it too, so maybe that's a book we could read I'm, together. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. Um, it's by Khaled Hassini. Hassini? I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. Then I just really liked the cover of this one, Bras and Broomsticks <laughs> by Sarah Malinikowski. I think it's more of a young adult book, but hey. I'm like excited. a middle grade. Yeah, I'm excited about reading this one. This one, I love the cover of it. And I've heard a lot of very good things about it. This is The Lovely Bones by Alice Sebold. Sebold. Love that. Okay. And this one I picked up. <laughs> um, I heard about the Anita Blake Vampire series, Vampire Hunter series. So we were in there and this place is just walls full of books. And so Jessica and I were in there and I just saw the girl's name. And I had no idea what number book this was. But I picked it up because I liked it. Look how cool that cover is. Blood Noir. That is just so cool to me. Anyways, this happens to be the 16th book um, in the series. So. <laughs> the last book that's come out recently. So uh, I'm going to have to pick up the other ones so I can begin reading those. But a dollar, people. Don't forget that. Yeah, so, so um, that's all from the Recycled Reader I have. And then I only got two books at Recycled Reader because I actually think about what I'm buying <laughs> rather than just They're only a dollar. Up. How can you just resist that? <laughs> But the first book that I got is Blue Bloods by Melissa Day Cruz. Which I have that book too, and I'm super, super excited yeah. about reading that one. I have mixed feelings. I don't really know if I'll be interested in it, but it's worth a shot. And it was only a dollar, so that's my first book. And then my second book is My Sister's Keeper by Jody Piccolo, we think. Picolt. Picolt, that's whatever. <laughs> Piccolo, Picolt, you know. She's a really great author, and I saw the movie, and I loved it, so definitely excited to read this. Um, I think we actually watched that after prom. Yeah, we had, like, a whole Which was a little depressing, route. but it was a good movie. It so. was. We all cried, but then we were, like, happy <laughs> that we were together. Yep. So, and then our second place that we went to was Mr. K's mm -hmm. Used Bookstore, mm -hmm. so you want to go first? Sure. Okay, so I have a lot of Sarah Dustin behind us over here. Um, but I wanted to complete my collection. I have The Truth About Forever, which I've heard so many good things about this book. I'm excited about that one. And then This Lullaby. And these were probably only like $3 at Mr. K's, I'm pretty sure. Around $3. Okay, and Jessica showed me this movie of New Year's, like our first New Year's as friends. And um, it's such a good movie. It's pretty scary. It's called The Descent. So I decided to get the book to read for... Um, October, but it's by Jeff Long. And then this one. Oh, we both got this at Glass Mr. House. K's. Glass Houses. Um, we decided that this would be the first book that we read at the same time, but I just couldn't wait. So I read it, and I read it in like two days, and it was so good. And now she needs to read it. Yes, so. I was stuck on another book, so yeah, she went on without so, me. Yeah. But we... We were a little bit skeptical about this. We heard about this probably our junior or senior year of high school, but the cover kind of threw us off. Yeah, because it's, you know, gothy, and we're not really into, like, the punk emo goth right. stories. Right, so 
then we were like, what the heck? You know, we've heard a lot of good things about yeah. it. So we decided to pick it up. So Jessica, obviously, she loved yeah. that. And it's by Rachel Kane. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then, obviously, with my love of Charlene Harris. <laughs> okay, I got finally got the um, Sookie Stackhouse series. This one is Dead Until Dark. Living Dead in Dallas. Which, I love these older covers more than the new ones. I don't know. I just think they're so cool. Club Dead. Dead to the World, and Dead as a Doornail, which I'm super excited about reading those, which I need to get on that, but, and then, um, me and Jessica have liked R.L. Stein growing up, so I got, like, a bunch of his books, so we're just gonna go through these quickly. The Babysitter, The Dead Girlfriend, The Boyfriend, <laughs> The Hitchhiker, oh, and most of these were a dollar, too, by the way. Um, One Evil Summer, Call Waiting, The Babysitter 3, which I don't have the second one, but I wanted to get that one anyways because I babysit, so, you know, kind of <laughs> want to creep myself out. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and sense. then Blind Date, The Yearbook, Sunburn, which Jessica has that one, and she got me Amazing. to read that. It was really I good. recommend you can read it in a day, so go on. Yeah, these are it. really simple reads. Okay, Broken Hearts, Missing, Wrong Number, which I'm excited about that one. Look at that cover. It just looks so creepy. Okay, and then <laughs> Silent Night, like Hello Christmas and Christmas! Halloween combined. Our like, two favorite <laughs> holidays. I Halloween love Halloween and so Christmas. much. Not that I don't love Christmas, but something about Halloween, dressing up, love it. Anyways. Yeah. Okay, and then what I got from Mr. K's, I got four books, which I already showed you, Glass Houses, but already read it, want the sequel for my birthday, so recommend. I got Boys That Bite by Mary Moncusi. Which I'm obsessed with that series. Yeah, she has like so practically much. every single one. I think she's just missing one. Yeah, so. we got it from the library. And this is my favorite cover, probably, but I had to get the new ones, but I loved this series. Yeah. So, so good. And I'm, like, three quarters of the way into it, and it's good, but I don't think I'm that obsessed as she is. But love who knows? It. I think I could get into this series. I love the so. main characters so much. They're just really relatable. Yeah. And then I got The Iron King by Julie Kagawa. And I've heard about this, but I'm not really into, like, fairy stories, but I figured... It had so many good reviews mm -hmm. that I just needed to check it out, and it was only five dollars. Plus, and the it's covers in good are good condition. Yeah, the yeah, covers, the covers are really, are cool really too. pretty. I'm not into faces on the covers, but I like the teal and the turquoise. But anyways, I'm out on page eighty of this, and it's good so far. So, yeah. And then my last book is Distant Waves by Suzanne Wine. And this is a story about sisters that were on the Titanic ship, and it just kind of tells their point of view with everything and I love absolutely anything about the Titanic the movie the facts the historic things so definitely yeah definitely back in that time they just had a lot of cool things going on yeah and their their clothes were really mm -hmm. pretty too and, yeah you know I as sad it is as it is about the Titanic you know I love I find it so fascinating everything mm -hmm. that happened so we're excited about it I'm probably gonna borrow this from her yes. buy my own copy don't know when I'll read it though but I'll let you know mm -hmm. The last place we went was Books A Million, and to keep going with the Blood Coven Vampire series. Hello. I think it's what? What did we say? The 10th one or the 9th one? The 9th ninth one. Ninth one, Blood Forever, which um, I still need to read the other one before this, but I couldn't resist. I, I love this, so I'm excited to see what happens. One. This is the 8th. 6, 7, 8. 8th, ninth, 10th, Whatever. one of those. Same difference. It's in the series. <laughs> okay, and this one I picked up off of the shelf because, um, hello, the name is The Probability of Miracles um, by Wendy Wonder, and it was just a really pretty cover. So I read the back of it. I didn't just pick this one up like the other ones, <laughs> but um, this is about a girl who is fighting cancer, but she has to do a couple things, um, you know, before she might pass away, and she moves to a town named Promise in Maine where mysterious miracles start happening. And so I was all about super, miracles. I was super excited about this. So I said, okay, I have to, I have to start reading this. <laughs> so I read this in like a day and a half. This is while Jessica was reading 
glass, glass houses, houses without me, but this was super good, so I'll probably do a review on this one soon. So look at our blog, which yeah. is also posted on the bottom of our And we'll have page. a list of all these books, too, there. Yeah. And then the only book that I got at Books A Million was Jessica's Guide to Dating on the Dark Side by Beth Fantasky. And I've heard a lot of good things about it. You know, at first I didn't really want to get it because the cover's kind of cheesy. Again, but questionable cover. Yes. Covers all. really make it or break it whether or not I buy a book. Which we're trying to stray away from yeah, that. We really but, are. But um, I heard that it's actually more serious than... The cover and the title make it seem, and plus, we have the same name, so I had to get it. I had to get it. But, yeah, that's all I got at Books A Million, so looking forward to reading that. And then I, well, we went to Goodwill after to check Our out the books. Our grandma told us, well, my grandma told me about books there, so we were like, mm -hmm. hello, we need to check it out. Yeah, and I found The Uglies by Scott Westerfield, and back in, like, 8th or ninth grade, my best friend was reading this, and... She suggested it to me, and I couldn't really get into it. It was kind of confusing, but it was only a dollar, so I figured, why not get it and try it again now that I'm older? So, yeah, got that. And then Amazon was having a sale, so I got Hearts at Stake by Alexandra Harvey, and this is the first book in the um, Drake Chronicles series, so I decided to give it a whirl. Don't like the cover, but that's okay because it was a good book. It was very light. I read it in like what 12 hours. Mm -hmm. I started like at 10 that night and I finished like in the afternoon the next day. Mm -hmm. Couldn't put it down, but it's not a heavy read. So if you're looking for something fun and light, I highly recommend this. So, which we used to go to like Barnes and Noble all the time and books a million and spend tons of money on our books like ten dollars mm -hmm. to twenty dollars, sometimes twenty five they're the new hardback <laughs> but we started finding all these places that have dollars for have <laughs> books for a dollar and we were like okay well no more Barnes and Noble yeah. I mean look at all these books in their perfect condition yeah. we got for a dollar to like six dollars yeah. maybe I mean we still go to Barnes and Noble and books a billion but only if there's like something new mm -hmm. out that we are just like dying to get our well, hands on we just on. feel like we're being ripped off if we I know pay $20. we paid a dollar for something and then yeah. when we pay 25 it's like no, I'd rather go back to the other one. Yeah, place. she got one book for like um three dollars when I just paid like seventeen for it. Yeah. A week or two before. So But anyways, that's our book haul. Mm -hmm. Look forward to reviews for most of these books soon because we are looking forward to reading these. Mm -hmm. I know she has a lot of October books that she's mm -hmm. gonna read and review about, so yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Yep, we'll have some reviews up soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye.